Welcome to part three of our cast iron series on how we take care of them. First, we started with seasoning, a brand new cast iron pan. Then we went to how to clean stubborn messes on a cast iron pan and oils. The third one is restoration. Look at this thing. I'd be willing to bet this thing has sat out for at least two years. This is my pan. I used to do fajitas on it a long time ago. And I happened to just be doing some work on the side yard and I ran across this about four or five months ago and went, what the hell? <laughs> Wondered what happened to it, but I mean, it's got rust spots in it. It's just nasty. It definitely needs restoration. I'm gonna show you how to restore it. Let's start. I'm gonna start this with some warm, soapy water. I'm just gonna throw it down, give it a good clean. And I am using an abrasive pad this time because I just want all the oil and gunk, whatever was left on it from its last cook and then some taken off. And at this point, I don't care if it's an abrasive pad because we're going to take care of that. And I'm just going to get everything off of this. And from what I'm seeing, everything that that stands out, right? I'm not, I can't get the rust off of this necessarily. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but I mean, seriously, there's rust there, dull spots, everything. It, it's just right there. The back, front, rinse it off. Now we get to have some fun. To start this out, I'm using one gallon of apple cider vinegar. Just pouring it into this pan here. And this is just a turkey basting pan, nothing special. And then we're gonna use one gallon of water. All right, one gallon of water. All right, there's our bath. I happen to find another pan, a little tiny one out there as well, so I'm gonna throw it in. And then our other pan. We're gonna let these pans soak for about an hour in our concoction, and then we're gonna check them out. We'll see you in one hour. Okay, it's been an hour. Let's take a look at these. A little hard to see from here, but you can see these rust spots. And it's starting to come off. So let's clean it up in the water and see where we stand. With our pan in the sink, I do have some soapy water in here. I'm just gonna give it a good cleaning. And I am using the scratchier side. All right, let's rinse the pan off, take a look at it. Ah, not looking bad, let's dry it off. Drying it off, it does look better, but you know, I'm still not ready to season this. I think we need to take it to the grinder. This actually, it looks really good, except for I've got this old seasoning and whatever other junk is on here on the top. And I thought, you know, I just need a clean slate when it comes to this pan, because a lot of other pans are gonna require that as well. I'm not gonna worry about the back. It looks good. I'm not gonna worry about the handle, but to take the rest of this stuff off, I'm just gonna use a drill and a wire brush. It's real simple. All right, I'm gonna finish this up, and when it's done, I'll show you what it looks like. That took about 30 minutes of grinding away, but as you can see, that looks pretty good. I hope you can get a good view of it. But now I think it's time to clean the dust off of this pan, and let's put some seasoning on it and throw it back in the oven. We're just gonna use some warm water. I'll wipe it down. Don't know how well you can see that, but that is looking pretty good. We're gonna dry it. Hopefully it'll give you a real good look at that. And then I'm just gonna put it right here for a little bit, let it continue to dry, and then we'll start seasoning it. To season our pan, I just have a cap full of canola oil. I don't want too much oil in here. So I don't want this to be sticky, and this is just our first go around as well. 
Excellent. So I'm going to do the back of this and then we're going to throw it in the oven for one hour at 350 degrees. Well, that is an hour's worth of seasoning and it looks really good. I do have a couple of things right here that might concern me. We might have had too much oil right here, but we're just going to redo it. Put in our cap full of canola oil. Take our rag, go all the way around it. Through here, let's get that back side. Excellent. We're gonna throw it back into the oven at 350 for another hour, and then we'll take another look at it. Our second coat is done, and I just wanna take a look at it. And it's a little sticky, nothing crazy, and I would expect that because all, there's, all that's on here is canola oil. So let's put a little bit more on. I think we can get away with just one more coat. And the pan looks amazing. All right, let's uh, cook this again at 350 for another hour. Let it cool off and then take a look at it. See you then. This is our third seasoning of this pan. And you look at this thing, it is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, that is an amazing looking pan. It's a little sticky, but I think some of that comes from the fact that the pan is still warm. But I really think this thing is ready to be cooked with. Here's our pan again. I mean, just take a look at this. This thing rocks. It's not sticky anymore either. It's really cooled off. So I think that the stickiness that we saw earlier was just because of the fact that it was warm. I'm so excited to cook with this pan. I'm sure the next time we see it, we're gonna be making fajitas. So take another look at it like this. Here's where we started, and here's where we got now. This rocks, a little bit of elbow grease, three times of putting it into the oven for an hour at 350, just to put that season on. The only way this thing's gonna really get any more seasoning is just by cooking. Well, this concludes part three of our three-part series on cast iron pans. I hope you guys take a moment and take a look at the other two. We are going to be doing a, an episode here shortly where I'm going to take my Cuisinart 360 griddle. It has a cast iron pan on it, and I'm going to re-season it as well. That should be coming up shortly. I love you guys. Peace, and we will talk to you soon. Take care, guys.